uh, for you, um, not just in this time, but period, you know, in your in your in your um, journey. You know, mastery is an amazing thing, and I don't think enough of us um, strive for that. So, um, I want to read a definition about mastery, and it says um, control or superiority over someone or something. I have another definition is comprehensive knowledge or skill in a subject or accomplishment. But I want to go to the, the, the one that says control or superiority over someone or something. And I'm going to focus specifically on the something part. All of us know how to do multiple things. And we've heard the phrase jack of all trades, but master of none. You know, a lot of people are in that space in their life right now. And you're going to see that that is not going to get you where you need to go. Um, in, in a time like this, this is the time for masters. This is the time when the masters are going to flourish. You know, um, when adversity comes to someone who's just a jack of all trades, this is when you have to have that, what they call a six Sigma level of training to be able to take it to the next level. And if you don't have that, they're going to push you out to the side and get the real people. So think about it on your job. They are what they what they call them now. The essential employees are still coming, not the people who that could be you know um, be passed over or just just have position. Just, just it's the essential employees that are still have to show up every day to work. That you just can't duplicate them. You just can't bring somebody off the street and duplicate them. These are still actively working, haven't slowed down, still getting their paycheck day by day, and um, still moving like as if COVID-19 never happened. That's because somebody have seen, you know, maybe it's from their degree, maybe they're, they're a doctor, uh, PhD or otherwise, or they've got reached a certain level of mastery, or what the, as the definition said, control over that thing that skill set so that they can, you know, uh, they're warranted, they're needed. They're highly sought after no matter what, even in a crisis. That has to mean something to you or that has to think, that has to mean something different now. Maybe you've heard that word before, but that word has to actually mean something different from this point forward in your life. No matter if it ever, we ever go through something like this again, that word has to mean something different to you. Um, going forward because this is when you are able to really flourish and you know that you can actually build a platform for yourself that your family would never have to starve. You know, that's one of the things people always, you know, we talk about my book, I Won't Starve. Everybody thought that it was just going to be like an entrepreneurial book that will be the second one, You Won't Starve. But I Won't Starve for me is just talking about um, the trials and tribulations I went through to build a platform me and my family so that we would never have to go back to a situation where we're, you know, eating from the Salvation Army was called Harvest Hope here, but something like a Salvation Army or me working an $8 an hour job or, or, or those type of struggles again, because that has been my, my life's goal is to have a set a level of independence that I am not just from any person, but any circumstance. That no matter what it is, I'm ma I'm a master at what I do, and so if I can't physically go out and shoot, I can teach somebody how to shoot. If I can't do certain do it one way, I can do it another way. However you however you want to flip it and bounce it, you're able to earn, you're able to move forward, and no matter what is happening to you, it won't. You got people that's even insured to a level where if you if something stops them from doing what they have mastered that skill, they're still going to get a check. Important they are to their field. 